So when you're walking through your travel trailer, is it like an earthquake? Okay, it's not that bad. That's a little Star Trek special effects for you if you've never seen Star Trek, which if you haven't, you're, you're doing better than I am. So today we're going to replace our jack stands. Uh, we've got 2,500 pound jack stands, the standard ones that come on them, um, on most travel trailers, unless you have like auto leveling or anything like that. Um, but so they're, they're junk, they're garbage. They, they're all like rusted already, like horribly rusted. Um, just kind of feel like they're falling apart. They're, they're not falling apart. Um, but we've got some better ones. They're 7,500 pound jack stands. They're actually like a real thick steel uh, versus like almost basically a a generic sheet metal. Um, so let's go take a look at those. So I have one replaced already. Um, these are the old ones. I mean, they're very thin. You know, a lot of it's the paint's peeling off. They're very, I mean, you're not even supposed to on the label use the drill to put them up and down. Um, you're supposed to just use a hand crank. So they're just, they're cheap, they're crappy. So we are replacing them. With these, these are 7,500 pound jack stands. Very thick steel. They actually come with a drill bit to take them up and down. Um, I went with this brand particular because it was the only one that actually said the gauge of steel on Amazon. Um, even if they said 7,500 pounds, they didn't say the gauge. And this brand specifically gave the gauge even. Um, it's called Libra Stabilizer Jacks. The only bad thing that I found by replacing one so far, the bolt holes don't line up. So you can't use what exactly was on there. Um, but two of them do. So we're using two bolts. I got some stainless steel bolts, washers, uh, nylon lock washers, or lock nuts. Um, we're gonna get those on and go from there. So this is the one we got replaced. Um, you can tell they're just a lot beefier. You can actually see that there's actual thickness to that sheet metal. Um, these will really help out a lot with stabilizing the trailer when we're parked. Uh, it'll get rid of a lot of that wobbliness and everything else. Um, so what we did was we used a couple fender washers and bolted them up instead of the, the cheap generic screws that they had on there. Um, and just and put them on. Like I said, all the holes didn't line up so we couldn't do four bolts but two of the holes do line up. So you can bolt them on with two decent sized bolts there. I think I went with a 5 16 Okay, so you can see when this is like extended, it's not actually touching. I can get my hand under it, okay? It barely moves. The bottom part moves a little bit, but this whole thing, it doesn't move at all. Now let's go look at one of the other jacks. Okay, so here's a stock jack that's still on there. We're about to replace this one. Look at the movement on this. All the wiggle. I'm not exaggerating that at all either. I'm not like, oh, look at the wiggle. <laughs> all right, just look. I mean, it just, it moves. Again, they're really chintzy. All right, let's get the other one on. So one other thing we have to do too, the holes, we've got to drill them out just a little bigger. The one is fine. The other one where it had a screw versus a bolt holding it on uh, is a little small. Um, but also, like I said, the patterns don't line up. You know, two holes pretty much line up, but you got to almost, you've got to make make the hole one size larger um, than the 5 16 So we are using a 3 8 inch drill bit, drill out the two holes, and then we can get the bolts to line up with, with the new jacks. All right, we got one more down, one more to go. And again, old crappy one, nice new one. Makes a big difference. 
I don't, to be honest, I don't even think a scrap metal person would want these. I mean, they'll take them. It's scrap metal, but they are just, they're that crappy compared to, compared to the new ones. Again, Libra 7,500 pound stabilizer jacks. So we replaced the jack stands. It is a lot better. It's probably like at least 50% less wobble in the trailer, if not more. Um, they make a huge difference. They're not um, not as cheap. They're a thicker sheet metal. They're a lot higher quality. Um, you can use a screw bit for them to actually take them up and down, unlike the ones that come with the trailer. You're not supposed to. I mean, I did, everybody else does, except for like a couple people that follow rules. Um, but so anyways, we got them on. It makes a huge difference. Definitely worth it. They're, they're 120 bucks. Um, the first one took me about like an hour or so to do, um, just to figure out how it was going to go together. Cause again, the bolt holes don't line up. Um, so after that though, they went on, it probably took me an hour to do the other three, the other three. So about a two hour upgrade. You need a three eighths inch drill bit, some five sixteenths bolts. The only thing that I don't like about those jack stands that I bought is the hardware it comes with. They come with this huge wood screw. I would show you them, but I'm pretty sure I already threw them out. Like I looked at it and I was like, this, no, <laughs> this isn't gonna work. Um, and pretty much threw them out. They're, I mean, they're huge. They were seriously like about the size of a quarter, the head on them, and it was a Phillips bit. And then it was like a wood screw. I'm like, what are you gonna do with this? So I went out, I got stainless steel bolts with a nylon lock nut, some fender washers and regular washers and bolted them all on. So they're, they're all set. Like I said, huge difference. Definitely worth 120 bucks. Um, I got them on Amazon. And like I said, I went with this brand specifically because it actually gave the thickness of the sheet metal on there. So you could kind of tell that they were not hiding anything about their product. Like a lot of them that are 7,500 pound jack stands, it just says that they're rated for that. It doesn't give you any more details really about it. Um, so the Libra jack stands, check them out. Um, you can get them on Amazon. They were like 120 bucks. We'll, we'll see what they are now. I think they might've been 130 or so, but again, not expensive, great upgrade to do, easy upgrade. Just about anybody can do it if you can use a drill bit and like a couple ratchets. Also wanted to show you a couple more upgrades we did today. Well, yeah, I, I did them today. Um, two was just a couple quick things. Um, new door handles. One reason why we went with the Cherokee was because they actually have real door handles, but they don't have locks on them. They're just like regular kind of hallway door handles. So these ones I just put on just some quickies. Um, it's a lock. So we've got one on the bedroom and the most important one, one on the bathroom. So we actually have a locking doorknob on our bathroom, which is really nice. A lot of campers don't have that. Um, one thing, if you do own a Cherokee and you're gonna be redoing these, see if you can find one that has a 7 8 inch, uh, I don't know, whatever this piece is called, the uh, piece that goes inside the door here, this one here. Make sure you find a 7 8 inch one instead of one inch, otherwise you gotta file this out. The one that comes with it on the camper is the diameter of that 7 8 of an inch. So unless you have a one inch twist bit, you know, you can't use a spade bit or something like that to try and hollow it out. So you gotta sit there and file. It, it took me about five minutes to file each one. It's not horrible, but definitely something to think of. So when you're buying one, again, I didn't know this when I bought it, otherwise I would have done that. But try and find one that's got a 7 8 versus one. All right, so that's one thing we did doorknobs. The other thing, Ooh, it's a little dark in here. In that window, there we go. Um, is a new shower head. And it still has the pause feature on here. So you can click it to the side to pause. Um, just like the RV shower head, but it's supposed to be like a higher pressure one. Um, it also has another piece that got replaced that actually allows you to twist that like different, sounds like it's breaking, but it's not. Um, to have different angles on the actual shower head itself. Um, it's not the Oxygenics, which everybody goes with. Uh, this one, again, I'm cheap. We've talked about this, I'm cheap. Uh, this one was cheaper on Amazon. I think it was like, I think 12 or 15 bucks. Uh, so we're gonna try it out next weekend. Next weekend we go on our first camping trip, trip of the season, which has been kind of long waiting. Um, we really wanted to get out there earlier. I haven't even dewinterized the camper yet. 
So we've got full hookups next weekend though, so we're just gonna dewinterize it there. Uh, it'll be a little easier. Um, and then we'll try out the shower head and we'll let you know. All right guys, take it easy.